All right, we are going after Colossi. Well, I guess we say Colossus number five. The bird Colossus. And if I remember correctly, I think I remember this. It's like in a lake, but it goes lower down. And then you can actually, uh, you grab it. Once it's, I believe, I, I, I remember there being an underwater one, but I also remember the one that kind of comes out of water, and that's when you grab it. I don't remember. We're going to find out. I do remember riding a bird in the air and stabbing it in the air. I do distinctly remember that. All right, this way. Onward, aggro. Towards the beautifully rendered graphics. These graphics are great, man. Like I said, definitely some of the best in modern games. Really outstanding. So they definitely did a good job with that. I am not complaining in any way. Very nice. Here we go. Looks like we're going to be going around the, uh, the uh, cliffside here. Very nice. Look at the beautifully popping and growing grass. Like in the movie Creepshow. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Going on here. We're gonna go this way. Okay. A lot of fireflies added to the game, huh? Ah, oh, look at this. A tower. Well, the tower's gotta be here for a reason, right? Here's one of those altars. Alright, you know what? Ah, pray at the altar. Look at that. Now, what if I climb this? Is there anything here? Yeah, you hear that? You hear the noise? That's not what I wanted. Whoops. Whoopsie. First of all, what a gorgeous view! What a gorgeous view! What a gorgeous view! I play video games for the gorgeous view. There you go. That's where we're headed. But you hear that noise, right? Look! Nice. So I think that increases your stamina. I'm not positive. I know it's an upgrade of some sort. I know there's certain upgrades that increase stamina, and there's certain upgrades that increase health. Five-line skink. Wow, so it was not a chameleon or a gecko. It's a skink. Now we know. I didn't know that because there were no trophies for that back then. Now we know. The skink. All right, very nice. Well, we got our first skink. Not a skank, a skink. And hopefully that increased our stamina. I hope. Alright. Easel says it's more noticeable the more that you collect the, uh, their effects. So, oops, wrong button. It's triangle, not freaking X. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled for those. We're going to listen too. You notice you could really hear it. There was the audio that really was the trigger for that thing. What a gorgeous view. What's up, Royal Fan? It's going good. The game is going good so far. We're on up to number five. Haven't really had too much trouble with any of the Colossi up to this point. Huh. Which way do I go here? I knew there was water involved, by the way. Uh, shout out to Big Dick Phil. 
who did a 25-bit cheer, and he says, this is a real remaster. Another bullshit Capcom and Ubisoft do to Resident Evil and Assassin's Creed with the same 30 frames per second and visuals and the same price. Yeah, I mean, look at the graphics. The graphics are dramatically improved from the original. And Mr. Papa Vera says, who you calling a skank? I didn't call you a skank, I called you a skank. Wait, I didn't call you a skank. <laughs> okay. A gorgeous view. Yeah. Oh, it's a dead end. How do I get across here? Looks like I get off the horse, right? Got to find a way to climb this stuff. Aha, you gotta dive. Yep. I'm going under. We're going under. Oh, God, it's Evanescence. Fucking Evanescence song from like 2001. I just started singing out of nowhere. What the hell? Who remembers that? I'm probably the only person. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cornchi just resubscribed for the 11th month in a row and said the game bugged my save on PS2, so I never bothered to restart it. Gonna get this game again. And, oh shit. There it is. And, Dith, yes, Dith T1 also subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Dith T1. Now, you know what's funny? Modern birds don't have hair, they have feathers. But actually, if you look at, at records, apparently old birds had feather, had uh, hair, like, like fur. And then they eventually evolved into having feathers. Pretty interesting, huh? Alright, so I gotta find a way to lure this bird and grab it. I don't remember how to do it, though. I know you gotta fall. And I believe there's certain columns you gotta climb here. And find a way to lure it around. But I don't remember this, so I'm gonna have to try to figure this out. Dark as hell. See some platforms here. I'm trying to figure where you could climb. I don't remember. I don't think you could climb this one. Mr. Papavera did a 25 bit tree. I remember when Evanescence was like emo Lady Gaga. As far as popularity went. Well, there you go. Emo Lady Gaga. Who knew that's all that Evanescence ever was? Let's see here. Can I climb this one over here? I know you can climb one of these. Nah, I don't think this one either. Where the hell do you climb? <laughs> There's stuff over to the left. There's some columns here. I don't think you can climb those columns, though. I'm pretty sure you cannot climb. Because see, there's the long ass tail. I think the trick is to. You have to go on one of these and it flies by to latch. You grab the tail, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure you can't just grab the tail here yet. Maybe this one over here. Take a look over here. Shout out to Dark Viking 159 who just reached up for the seventh month in a row. And he says, I hope you're having a good time. 
I'm currently in a very bad state. I'm depressed and thinking about suicide. Sorry to bother you this, but any advice to get through the situation? Oh, uh, yeah. Number one. You gotta talk to people about it. Not necessarily me, but people like family, friends, whoever it is who you feel would actually, you know, listen and take you seriously. You gotta talk. Don't keep it to yourself, because taking it to yourself is not cool. In fact, you know, a lot of people who are depressed, I used to be one of them. Stay too isolated, get into things like drinking and stuff, that is not good at all. You gotta talk to someone about it. Number two, try to surround yourself with at least stuff that you like. You know, I'm sure you have hobbies. You've got, uh, you know, stuff going on in your life that is positive. And that's the stuff you gotta focus on. Not the stuff that's going wrong or the stuff that maybe didn't work out. But the stuff that you got going for you, you know? And, uh, you know, eventually you gotta, you gotta realize. Eventually things are gonna turn around. Everyone has bad times in their lives when things are going wrong. Things are gonna turn around eventually. You just gotta get to that point and not let it get to you so badly, right? That all you think about is the negative, the negative, the negative. Because that's when things can get pretty bad. And again, I know. I've been there, man. So hang in there and hopefully, uh, you know, things will turn out well for it. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit this fucking thing with my bow and arrow and see what happens. And by the way, infinite. Just today, 500 bit cheers and hang in there, Viking. Yes, hang in there, Dark Viking. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Here it comes. Maybe it'll come over here and land, and then I could grab its tail. And that's what it's supposed to be. It comes to one of these column things. And when it gets close enough, you could jump and grab and scale its tail, if I remember correctly. 